Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss address resolution protocol ARP. Uh, TCP IP protocol suite defines many protocols and ARP is one of them. The job of ARP is to map an IP address to the MAC address on the same local area network. It means if you know the IP address of some of the nodes on the local area network, and if you do not know the MAC address, then ARP protocol will help us to find out the MAC address of that particular node with the help of the IP address. So IP address is a 32-bit logical address assigned to the computers on the network. So for example, this is the IP address for this. And now, uh, this MAC address is the 48-bit physical address, and that is address is assigned to the computer's network interface card. Now, for example, if we look at this, so this is the network interface card, and every network interface card is assigned a physical address uh, having 48 bits. So in this case, you can see this is the physical address. This is 2, 2. So this is the hexadecimal representation. It means this one, this six actually is represented by four binary bits. So if you take four bits, four bits, four bits, then this will be 48 bits. Anyway, so this is the physical address or the MAC address of the network interface card. And ARP is a protocol which actually translates IP address to the MAC address or it maps. It means if you give IP address to the ARP protocol, ARP protocol will, will convert that IP address to the MAC address. Now, for instance, this user, for instance, this user has generated some data and by using some frame, for example, Ethernet frame, when this router receives that frame and the router actually decapsulates the frame and, and it gets this packet. Now, this packet has to be transferred from this router to, the, this, to this router, and there is a physical path in between them. So this is the physical path there. Now, on the basis of that physical medium, this router has to encapsulate. So this router has to add header and trailer on top of that, and this router has to forward this frame to the next router in this network. And now the same process has to happen with, with this router. So this router will again decapsulate it and this will again encapsulate. It means this will again add header and trailer and this will forward that frame to this node. So when the data travels from this node to this node or from this node to this node, from every single point to another point, the router or the host machine needs the MAC address. Now, how to find out a MAC address if we already have the IP address? So ARP is a protocol which helps us to find out the MAC address with the help of IP address. Now, when the host or router sends some data to some other node, it has they have the IP address and they also maintain an ARP table our address resolution protocol table. In that table, they also have the uh, IP addresses as well as the MAC addresses. So for instance, uh, on your computer, if you want to check the ARP table, then you need to use this command. So on the command prompt, if you write this, ARP uh, space minus A, then you, will, you can find this ARP table in, on, in your computer. And there is a mapping, for example, for this IP address. This is the this is the MAC address. So they are maintaining a ARP table. By the help of this ARP table, they can find out that for for some specific IP address, what is the MAC address. And by using these two addresses, they can send the data. Because if we want to send the data, then we need to have the IP address as well as the MAC address. Now. For that uh, mapping, we use address resolution protocol. We are going to discuss that how does it work. Actually, for instance, in this network, this router, for instance, this router is receiving some packet. Now this router has to send this packet 
by adding header and trailer on top of that. After adding this, this router has to send this packet to some particular destination or to some particular computer nodes, maybe to this one, to this one, to this one. But router only has the IP address which is available there, but router doesn't know the MAC address of this computer function, of this computer. Then how the router will find out the MAC address? The procedure is that the router, router will get help from some of the message. And router actually uses ARP protocol, and ARP protocol includes messages, and these messages are ARP request and ARP reply. So in ARP request, this router will send a message to all the nodes available on this local area network. So this node, this node, and this node. And in this ARP request message, the router will send a message to all of these nodes asking that if you have this IP address, this can be any IP address, if you have this IP address, so if this is your IP address, then please reply with your MAC address. So router will ask this node, this node, as well as to this node by sending this ARP request message. So for instance, ARP request message, so the message ARP request message is sent to all the nodes available on the local area network. Now after receiving these all messages, for instance, this, this particular computer has that IP address. Then this computer will send an ARP reply message back to the router. And in ARP reply message, that node will say that yes, this particular IP address belongs to me and my MAC address is this one. So this node will send ARP reply back to the router like this. Now, this router has the IP address as well as the MAC address of the destination node. Once that router has both of the addresses with it, the router can encapsulate the packet into a frame and then these two nodes, i.e. the router and that node, can exchange the data with each other because now they have both the IP address as well as the MAC address of each other. So. This is the end for address resolution protocol, and I hope this was a bit useful for you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.